Hello and welcome to this wonderful video session. In this video, we are going to be learning how to smoothly synchronize two tracks together and beat match. Especially maybe you want to play around with the tracks more before you drop it out. Maybe during transitioning processes. So the first you need to do is on the first deck, possibly one of the deck, in my case I'm using deck one, you load the part of a beat that is rolling. And in this case, I have this particular beat that is rolling. Then you load the second one on the other side. Then you identify the first beat for the two tracks. You start the first beat of the deck one. While it is playing like this, you are going to be counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So with this counting, you are going to see how it's going to be very effective during this process of beat matching and possibly synchronizing. The next you do is make sure the two tracks are synchronized, having the same PPM. Or as close as possible then you switch your deck by tapping on the tap button to the ta track that is not playing at the moment which is the second deck now that is having the beat that is having the part the song that we are going to be beat matching on this very one which is mostly a part that has less instrument with more vocal as you can clearly see it. so we have selected the point that we want look at it i'm going to start it so you can see this one is that first part this is actually telling you that that is the first point of the beat because there is a clash between the vocal and the instrument so the force is always telling you that that is the first beat based on the voice and the force or the combination of the instrument and the sound together so from that we have already picked it, it is going to be on our q1 so we are going to be using the letter h to start it then after that we will now roll it. Let's get to see it now. We are going to be doing the counting. Then you get to see how we to flow with it. That's this counting is what will really make the beat matching process very smooth, very nice, and very good for the anyone for anyone that will be listening to it. Look at it now. So you can see I started it on a slow pace. You can see the two tracks are moving smoothly and effortless, effortlessly, just as I told you. Then in the event you have any challenge, maybe they are not properly synchronizing, you can just use the notch button here. These two arrow, these two left and right arrow keys, just to be tweaking it a bit, then everything will flow. So thank you for being there. Catch you in my next video as I continue to bring you more. We are going to be seeing how we are going to be tweaking these things into even scratching and dropping. Possibly in my next video and other videos that are coming. So don't forget to keep a date. I believe you learn something from this. Go and practice and practice and practice until you become perfect. Catch you there.